welcome back to another week of Coast Kids Preschool at Home. We so, so love hanging out with you guys each week. Oh, yes we do. Great to see you again, my friends. Hey, you might have noticed that we've got a lot of plants around us. Like, a lot. Oh, yes we have, Phoebe. Lots and lots of green. Yeah, I love plants. These are just a few of the plants that I have in my room. Yeah, and I think the green plants go nicely with your orange top. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, last week we talked about how on the first day of creation, God made light and he made darkness. And on the second day of creation, he made the sky. Guess what we're going to be talking about today? Oh, I wonder, Phoebe, please tell us it's just so exciting learning about all of this creation thing stuff. Yeah, it is. Today, we're going to be learning about the third day of creation. Oh, what happened on the third day, Phoebe? Well, you might have guessed because of all the things around me. On the third day of creation, God made land and he made plants. Oh, yay! Does that include flowers, Phoebe? It does. Oh, and vegetables, Phoebe? It, yeah, it sure does. So that means carrots too? It does mean carrots too. Oh, to get into our lesson. Oh, yippee! All right, so it's time for us to color in our third day of creation. If you guys have picked up your booklets from our Click and Collect, then you'll also have the third day of creation all ready for you to color in in your booklets. So why don't you color it in and follow along with me? All right, I'm gonna start off with green, I think. A lot of plants are green, so I think that's a good colour to start off with. Alright, I'm colouring in my big palm tree. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I wonder what colour you guys are colouring in your things. Maybe green, but maybe you can make up different coloured plants, like blue and purple. Those would be pretty cool. Alright, one tree done. Let's do one more. Look at that. Two little green trees. I might do some of the little plants on the ground green as well. Cool. And maybe these ones on the side. One more plant. And there you go. I think that's all my green that I'm going to put in. Alright, and now I think we need some very colourful flowers. Maybe I'll do some pink ones. Got my pink out. One pink flower, two pink flowers, I reckon we do three pink flowers. There you go, those are cool, three pink flowers. And I think I might do red for the things on the tree, do those look like apples maybe? Maybe, I'm going to make them red. red apples on our tree. And now what other colours should we do? Maybe yellow. We do some yellow flowers. There you go, a few little yellow flowers. Hmm, what else? Maybe some brown tree trunks. Got my brown here. Colouring in those tree trunks. Almost done. 
you go. A few brown tree trunks. All right, now I think it's some time for blue. Blue skies, I reckon. Got my light blue out and I'm just filling in the sky. You guys can copy the colors that I'm doing or you can do different ones, it's up to you. sky and I think there's water on the side let's do the water a darker blue color And then, what do I have left to do? Maybe, I think it's just the tree left. Might need to get my green out again to finish off the tree. Almost done with the ocean. And there you go. Got our blue ocean. Let's get out another green to finish off our tree. That looks like a cool tree. the ground white. Now if you remember we've got our awesome world with number one and two already on it from last week. I think it's time to stick on number three. Let's get out our sticky glue and lots of glue on the back of the three. Make it really really sticky and let's stick that on. There you go, one, two, and three days of creation. All right, so this morning, because we're looking at the third day of creation where God made land and plants, I thought for our activity, it would be really, really cool if we could grow some plants of our own. So I've got two little containers here, and we're gonna put in some soil and some seeds, and maybe in a couple of weeks, they'll grow and we can look at them again. All right. So I've got a glove to put on, there you go, and I've got my soil in this little bucket. What I'm going to do is take out some of the soil and put it into my little containers. Make sure it's not too messy. There you go, that looks good. And now for the other one. more. 
All right, I think that looks good as well. So now we're gonna move off the soil and it's time to put in our seeds. So there's lots of little seeds in here, but I just want a few of them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig a little hole in the middle of each of my plants and I'm gonna drop some of my seeds in. I'll show you guys what the seeds look like. Like that. All right, so I'm gonna drop a few of those in to each one of my holes. And now, I'm gonna cover them back up again so that the seeds are all nice and hidden underneath the soil. All right, now I think we've just got one thing left to do and that's to put them, put a little bit of water in the containers. Just a little bit and a little bit in that one. All right, now we're gonna leave them and we'll check back in a couple of weeks to see if they've grown anything. All right, it's been so much fun hanging out with you guys this morning. Thank you so much for joining me and I pray that you have a great week at home. See you next week.